Don't listen to the people that say the miracles of God are not possible. For I tell you, miracles of God are possible today. God can perform miracles in your life today and every single day. He can perform paths where there are no paths like he did Moses. And he can uh, take the impossible and turn it into the possible like he did the three Hebrew boys. Don't listen to people who say the mir miracles are not possible today. They are something of the past. They are something that happened in the Bible in the ancient days. This is not true. Miracles happen today. The miracles of Jesus happened in the past. They are happening today and they will continue to happen the bible says in luke 137 with god nothing shall be impossible and so whatever is happening in your life right now whether you are having difficulty with your money with your kids with your marriage with your health or your business or any area of life yes it may be true that you are suffering but god has a purpose for your suffering the fact that we suffer doesn't mean that god is not true god is not real god is not working with us god is not for us god is not getting ready to perform a miracle a miracle in your life you don't know if it's a test that you're going through you see, in all situations, God is working to complete a purpose in my life, in your life, and in everybody's life. And that purpose is to make us more like Jesus Christ. So we can have a Christ-like mind, and we can have a Christ-like heart, and we can manifest heaven and earth, being a clear vessel for the Holy Spirit of God to work through us. And so God is using all things to finish this purpose. And so... If we're fighting God and if we're rejecting him and if we're not believing in him and if we're not surrendering to his will, to his work, then God can't use us for that purpose. But when we reject God, we automatically make ourselves subject to the enemy and we put ourselves in businesses we have no business being in. Negativity, we have no business being in. Bad relationships, we have no business being in. Dangerous situations, we have no business being in. And that's all because we're pushing away, we're rejecting God. But in any situation, when we're fighting God, God says, okay, if that's the way you want to go, go. But I'm going to use you in that situation. Just like he used me when I was homeless. You see, I was rebellious. I wanted to do things my way. I didn't care about anything. Uh, I was always against authority. And this, this made me uh, homeless. And God says, okay, that's not the path I want for you. But if you're fighting me, if you're rebelling against me, go ahead. But I'm going to use you in that situation. So how did he use me in that situation? Well, I'm out of homelessness now. I have a brilliant relationship with God. And I use my story, my testimonies and my experiences to help people that are in a similar situation as I was or who are going toward that situation. And so in any situation, God would say, OK, if that's what you want to do, it. but I'm going to use you in that situation. You can stay there until you learn X, Y, Z. You can stay there until you change X, Y, Z. In my case, I needed to learn self-love, self-respect respect for others others also i needed to change a lot of things about me my rebellious nature aggressive nature violent nature violent in some areas uh, when i was uh, drinking uh, alcohol and so in all things god works for the good of those who love him and so even in my time of homelessness god was performing miracles in my life he saved me from dangerous situations from overdose from violence and i left homelessness without having even a single scratch on me these are miracles he creates paths where there are no paths in dangerous situations on the streets he creates paths where there are no paths for me to get free and so on and so forth and so the question is do you have faith do you have faith in god first of all do you know god do you have faith in god the Bible, Jesus says in Matthew 17, 20, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will tell that mountain to get up and move and that mountain will get up and plant itself over there. Do you have faith in God? Not faith in me, not faith in you, not faith in this, that or the other. Faith in God's faithfulness that he will do as he promises to do in the Bible. The Bible says, and I will heal you and I will help you and I will lift you up and I will provide for you and I will keep you safe and I will protect you. And I and I and I, I will, I will, I will. Do you have faith in God's faithfulness that he will do exactly as he promises to do? If you have a financial problem, look at the Bible verse that talks about financial problems and have faith in God's faithfulness that he will do that. If you have a health problem, find a Bible verse that talks about that and have faith in God's faithfulness that he will deliver that. He will deliver you. He will do that for you. And so it's very important that you get close to God, move close to God. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all 
things through Christ who strengthens me. It doesn't say I can do some things. I can do this, but I can't do the other. No, the Bible says I can do all things through who? Through Christ who strengthens me. Now, it doesn't mean, okay, so... I better build a relationship with Christ and so I can become a millionaire. I better build a relationship with Christ and so I can own uh, 50 uh, skyscrapers. No, we're talking about the work and the will of God here. Let's not take it out of context. And so have confidence in God because when you have confidence in God, God will, first of all, you will endure through difficult situations like um, uh, maybe you've got a financial problem or a health problem or another problem. You will endure these situations. You can be in a situation and not have endurance and the situation will look 10 times bigger than what it is. But if you're in a situation and you have the endurance of God, the problem will look smaller. It will feel smaller and you will go about it as though it is smaller. You will be bigger than the problem. So not, not only that, confidence in God builds your hope it gives you hope for the future so you can be in a problem and have no hope it's like it's sitting in a dark room with no window no hope it's all darkness but if you have hope it's like a window opens and now bang you can see something bright for your future you can see that there's something else apart from the dark darkness that you're in but it's not just that confidence in god allows you to defeat the the things of the enemy the the fear the worry the doubt that satan tries to put upon you and so it's very, very important that you have confidence in God's faith, in God's faithfulness that he will do as he says he will do. So I just want to tell you very quickly, nothing is impossible for God. Whatever your situation is, nothing is impossible for God. Whatever your situation is, God can snatch you. He can just come in and snatch you out of that situation. You just have faith because with God, all things are possible and miracles and not something just of the past. Miracles happen, they continue to happen, and they will happen in the future. Just have 